Alright, hey guys, welcome to Metiger Gaming. This is my second Empire at War video, so this time I thought we'd try something different. Different, So I thought we'd do a tutorials this time, so I'm probably going to do the next seven videos as tutorials. So first let's start with the basic land rebel mode, tutorial one. Let's start game. This is just for those of you who don't know how to play. Okay, I'll be quiet. Your goal in this game is clear. Take control of planets. Conquer the Star Wars galaxy. And become the ultimate galactic commander. You have the ability to command everything from individual troops to starships and even the mighty Death Star as you fight on the ground, in space, and across the entire galaxy. How you do it is up to you. Will you repeat Star Wars history? Or will you change it forever? Whoa, da da da. All right, so the tutorial is just gonna go over there, everything. Okay. The Empire is launching an assault on the rebel base on Kashyyyk to prepare you for the challenges of conquering the Star Wars galaxy. We are going down to the surface of Kashyyyk to show you how to take command of your land units to repel this invasion. Okay. So the Empire is coming, I'm the Rebellion, and now we're going to fight on the ground. So uh, before I actually click start, I just want to show you the kind of layout they have every time you start a battle. So they have the planet name in the corner left. They have the description of the planet right here. They have the population, so these are usually like, uh, it's going to have maybe humans or uh, other kinds of aliens around here depending on which planet it is. So here's Wookiees and Wookiees are always on the Rebellion side. Some of times the aliens might be on the Empire side so you'd have to fight against the locals and the Empire but this time the Wookiees they're the locals they're, they're the locals and they're on our side so we get a little extra support. This is the weather. I don't really know why they include the weather, weather and it doesn't have anything to do with the game, it really doesn't make too much of an effect unless you're in like Solist or where like there's a lot of magma and stuff that might heat up the temperatures. But that's pretty much it. And this is a planet map. This is what the uh, get. Uh, this is what the map looks like. All right, let's get started. I don't want to. Wa I don't want to waste any more time. All right. So I have to basically fight these guys. To accomplish this, you must command ground units like these rebel soldiers who are currently on patrol to eliminate the enemy invaders. But before you begin, it is critical that you also understand how to use the command bar. To view the entire battlefield, use the mini map located in the bottom left corner right of the screen. Here. Friendly units on the mini map are displayed in green, while enemy units are red. The highlighted buttons represent advanced movement options, which are not covered in this tutorial. Please refer to the manual for a detailed oh, wow. description of their I mean, there's only like six buttons they could have covered in the tutorial. Seriously? Whenever a unit has been selected, an icon for that unit will be displayed on the command bar. You may view the status of your units or activate special units. Honestly, I don't even use any of these except for the guard ones, so I guess they have a right not to like explain it too much. They can't be far from here. Let's find them. Use your squad to search for the lost patrol by selecting them with the left mouse button and then right clicking on the location where you want them to move. You can review mission objectives at any time by selecting the mission holocron option located on the command bar. All right, let's get going. I think that's all my units right now. Oh, I can't I can't fast forward in this. All right, so let's just go into this mode. This mode is actually quite cool. You get to see everything. Are being jammed, sir. We must find the jamming device, destroy it, and report back to base. Take control of both squads right here, by holding right. down the left mouse button and Got dragging it. a box around them. You can select several units or your whole army this way. Locate the jamming Ready. device by exploring the surrounding area with these units. Moving out. Mission hologram. Find the jamming device, take control of both squads, holding down that, uh, locate the, like, exploring the surrounding, oh, it's right here. 
I love how they had this nice blue arrow so you didn't have to actually do any work. They're firing at the jamming device. Right there, they have to destroy that. Sir, this jamming device has imperial markings. Acknowledge squad three. All units return to base. Okay, I, I mean that's pretty obvious. Like, who else attacks the rebels? Like, pirates are against the rebels, but they don't actually attack them. Let's advance to the rebel base. Right there, they have these nice blue arrows for everything. You don't have to do any work in this tutorial. No thinking required. Get those defensive structures online now. Build defensive structures to prepare for the incoming imperial attack by right-clicking on the build pads located near the base. Oh, they only have one turret. This isn't a turret. This is a healing station. Currently, you can build a turret and a back to healing station, but more structures will be available later in the game. So we got the communication center here, communications array, and the barracks over here. Back to healing stations, heal infantry units when they're within range of the station. To see the healing range of a back to healing station, simply left click on the station. If your build pad structures are destroyed, they can be rebuilt. But remember, all nearby enemies must be eliminated before you may reuse a build pad. Oh, also, like, the thing I clicked on before when I clicked on the barracks, those were upgrades, so now it's fully upgraded. Incoming Imperial forces. Now I gotta kill them. On our way, sir. Remember your training. Take cover. Infantry units have to take cover. Those are just suicide bombs. They just went full, full Lahu Akbar. <laughs> So I just got infantry kill. squad takes casualties. The health meter for that squad will be reduced. Use the back to healing station to heal any wounded infantry units. Ready to roll. So you just take cover here. I'll show you guys the views so it looks a little cooler. Yeah, it looks pretty sick. Every unit has strengths and weaknesses that can be exploited to win battles. Flex rocket soldiers are strong against lightly armored units like these ATST walkers. Command your flex soldiers to attack the ATST units. To view this battle from a cinematic perspective, select the cinematic camera option located on the command bar. The base is secure. We need to reclaim all Keep reinforcement going. points to our east. Otherwise, the Imperials will continue to attack our position. Capture the two reinforcement points. I've sent these guys over here to capture it, and then these guys can stay here and capture. Points will prevent the enemy from landing even more troops. To capture a reinforcement point, you must eliminate all enemy units in the area and remain near the reinforcement point until it turns green. Uh, Note that every reinforcement point has a limit for how many units it can accommodate, denoted by the number shown. In tutorial five, we'll give you the opportunity to bring reinforcements into a land battle. Area secure. Let's keep incoming Imperials! Open fire! I copy. Forward! Spreading out! Is that it? I'll have to capture it. I can show you guys these cool views while we're waiting. It's almost done, pretty much. Area secure. That's all of them. Sir, I'm receiving reports that a massive Imperial fleet is en route to Kashyyyk. This system is no longer secure. We need to evacuate this base immediately. Retreating allows you to save your units from certain destruction whenever you're faced with overwhelming odds. Remember, you can always return to a battle later with additional units. Select the retreat button on your command bar to take your remaining forces and regroup them on another planet. Retreat. The Alliance fleet that the Empire is aware of our presence on Kashyyyk. The rest of you prepare for evacuation. Yes, sir. I can only hope that the Imperials haven't uncovered any other Alliance outposts. Okay, so that was pretty much it. Eight minutes. Pretty, not too long. Pretty short for today.
So that's the tutorial one video. I quit for now, uh, mostly because I just want to uh, do the tutorial uh, part two video later on. I'll upload it probably tomorrow or Friday. But for now, just thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right? And I still got caught with the catchphrase for my ending and my opening. But see you for now. And may the force be with you.